driving the Honda E back to Brussels. I'm gonna try to make it to one of my favorite coffee places in Antwerp, nearly 160 kilometers from here. But as you can see, with this temperature the Honda predicts that I cannot make it there. Let's try and hyper mile. to go 102 on the gun let's see 50 percent 82 on the gun and 80 on ways excitement continues will the hyper miling pay off calyx berna on the other side and we're heading to this side. Galgeveld, Fastnet Galgeveld. My very first time. For a long time I've wondered why is there no Fastnet here at this huge SO station. And now there is. A fresh, sandy, fast net beach. Ooh, no cable management. Can you see the... This is the sandy beach of Fastnet Galgeveld. Good morning. We're still hypermiling to Brussels or Antwerp in the beginning. But I just wanted to show you the space for future expansion. Is already big right now four vehicles can charge up and that's easily expandable to eight what happens after that though I wonder but yeah eight people charging up then the throughput will be huge so we're at Fastnet Hazeldonk which is 41 kilometers from the coffee place in Antwerp. The vehicle says we can still do 43 kilometers. So I'm gonna go for it. Let's hyper mile the Honda E till the very end. And there's the first get some energy message with 15% in the bank, 28 to go. And actually 23 on the gum, so it keeps dropping like a brick. Since the gum is a bit scary even to me, with 19 kilometers predicted, I am now hiding behind a truck to see what happens to the range. Well, hiding behind, behind the truck seems to help. Still 13 on the gum, only 16 to go. Antwerp is in sight. Turtle mode engage with 6%. We're now in the turtle, 12 kilometers to go. It predicts 11. By far the nastiest about the turtle is being on the highway. So I'm very happy that in less than two kilometers we'll be off. Heading into town, 4%. This turtle keeps coming back. Still eight kilometers on the gum and only three to go, but 10 minutes drive. Hello Antwerp. Hello, CCS Charger. This is the end. Even though the coffee place is around the corner. We made it with 4% and still 7 kilometers on the gum. So it shows you, if you know your destination and you know it's in the city, you'll be fine. These highways, though. What I am curious about, though, is what is the actual uh, BMS state of charge because when I connected to the Fastnet charger the other time I arrived with 5% but the charger said 3 or even less so I'm curious 
what this charger will say. Let's find my charging cart. Well, that uh, was quick. Quick by effort check. Let's see. Ooh, the e-tron GT is not so lucky as I am because I just arrived and it shows 4% huh interesting did I get lucky here I arrived one minute before the e-tron GT RS full spec night vision everything oh yes Oh yes, Antwerp. Everybody in Antwerp rides electric. Yet, this charger is messing with us. So, I had my coffee. I'm back at the fast charger. I'm already fully charged. The charging stopped. And now, it tells me that my card is not authorized. But of course it is. I just charged. What is this? I thought I charged, but it stopped at 66% something happened with the charger so here we are in antwerp and i'm trying to help this friendly guy with his fiat 500a and now we have a problem because my charging card stopped working the whole the whole charging session stopped at 66 percent while i was enjoying my coffee so i'm not fully charged and now i'm trying to help this guy and my bmw card that i just used to charge half full is now suddenly not authorized so this whole machine stopped working I tried other cards of course and it didn't work and so now we're here and there's nothing we can do because this charger I know that it's from blue corner so I will try to figure out how to reach blue corner but nowhere on the machine does it say anything to help you there's no qr code there's no phone number there's no website address there's nothing antwerp this has to get better welcome to this wasserstoff station in antwerp and yes there's a fast charger and yes there are scooters everything is here but i sent the guy with the fiat 500 here and he drove right past it because obviously nobody understands what a fast charger looks like and also this one yeah it's so hard to spot and yeah what is what are they doing why do they show h2 only you have an electric charger advertise it so i really hope the fiat turns around so i can wave at him and make him enter this spot but yeah i also don't have all day so <laughs> dutch id4 are they looking for a fast charger no if somebody at uh, total comes to you and tells you how serious they are about uh, fast charging then maybe point them towards this gas station Varlo's not that far from Antwerp direction of Brussels hmm. the capital of Belgium one of the busiest highways of the whole country and what do we have here yes a single 50 kilowatt unit Allego put here and let's check if the machine tells us when it was installed well it was made manufactured in 2016 so let's just take a guess and say that allego installed it 
four years ago. Maybe somebody wants to put a 100 kilowatt charger here. Maybe. Just one. There's always a type. Booty. 400 meters. That sign should show a fast charger because look at this. Oh, if you go to the right, like we are used to in the Netherlands, then you actually miss the entrance. Which can lead to a quite scary situation if you want to go back. That's it. 14 percent 1700 something and that's my total score i got the average consumption down from above 200 watt hours per kilometer to about 190 not that impressive considering how i drove this vehicle see you at a fast charger soon